What signs and symptoms may indicate to clinicians that acute hepatitis C virus infection should be suspected? If such infection is suspected, what additional clinical and laboratory evaluations should be performed? Unfortunately, the majority of people with acute hepatitis C infection are asymptomatic or have minimal symptoms, none that would really make them come to the doctor. So for instance, they might just feel a little bit like they have a virus or a flu-like syndrome. So because of that, most patients won't present. Now, of course, if a patient does present with symptoms consistent with acute hepatitis and they have a risk factor, then they should be tested for acute hepatitis C infection. Um, but in reality, because most patients don't have those symptoms, you really need to go to the risk involved. So in other words, that patients who are at high risk, meaning young injection drug users or uh, HIV positive uh, men who have sex with men with very high risk behaviors should be regularly tested because otherwise you'll never find it. And in terms of what additional clinical or laboratory information you need, basically because a patient at any given time may be, uh, have their liver function test high, medium, or even just barely up, uh, you really do need multiple values to diagnose acute hepatitis C infection often. But if you ever see a patient go from hepatitis C antibody negative to positive, then that's a clear-cut case.